This is the Rumbula Forest where the Nazis brought 25,000 Riga Jews. And over two days, November 28th and 29th and December 8th, they killed them. They had large dug out uh, trenches waiting here. And as the people came, according to a woman who was here and escaped and went back to the Riga ghetto and has since written about what happened. As they lined up, they were told to put their shoes on one pile and their clothes on the other. They were then walked up to these trenches that had already been built and told to lie down in the trenches. They were killed with, by a pistol, by a sh you know shooting. And then the next group had to lie on top of the people who had been shot. Some, of course, who were dead and some, of course, who were, were not. You know, horrible, unimaginable, but it happened and it happened here in Rumbula Forest. It is where Common's mother died, along with 25,000 other Riga Jews. When I came here 10 years ago, they had just started this memorial where you could place a stone in honor of the people who were killed here. I wanted to do it. I asked Common for his permission to place a stone for his mother and his father. His father, as I said, was, was probably killed in the Birkeniki forest. His mother, Sonia, was killed here. So I'm gonna find the stone that I had placed in honor of his parents. Can you read that? It looks like V. Aaron. Common is at peace now that he's told his story, his book is written, and what he cares most about is his art. And this story, Into the Light, The Healing Art of Common Aaron, is his legacy. And it continues after he's gone, after I'm gone. It's truly his legacy. And I believe it's a, it's not just a book about his story. It's not just photographs of his paintings. But I believe it, it, the volume of art in this book carries the resonance of everything he experienced, everything he transformed, and finally reached a place of peace in his life at the end of his life. And he was always true to his muse, and his parents always supported him as an artist, even though at that time, among Jewish families, it was not considered a good profession to go in because you never made any money. His parents always supported his artistic ability. So I can say to his parents, he's lived a good life and his legacy lives in the book Into the Light. The gift of this sacrifice is the universal appeal for peace. We never have to kill each other again over anything at any time in the next, in the future of, of the world. And that's a huge sacrifice that these people made to wake us up, to learn how to live with each other in a peaceful and loving way.